Hi dear fans, friends and subscribers. Welcome to the Daily Cricket Show Cricket Happenings and it was the 25th match of the Indian Premier League 2018 which had its thrills, chills and spills and especially it was an exciting low scoring affair as Sunrisers Hyderabad defended a total of just the other day we saw 118 runs defended by Kings Eleven Punjab itself if I'm not wrong but today it was Sunrisers Hyderabad uh, actually defending a total of 132 for 6 um, um, and uh, you know <coughs> defending it in such a manner that they won the match by 13 runs against the Kings Eleven Punjab and the hero uh, even though Ankit Rajput Uh, finished on the losing side uh, of Kings Eleven Punjab, but what a spell of balling from Ankit Rajput! He really tore the Sunrisers uh, Hyderabad batting order absolutely apart with a with a sensational spell of four overs, 15 runs and four wicket and five wickets. A five wicket bang in T20 is something of a luxury, and here comes Ankit Rajput, uh, really, really turning it very, very luxurious. And what a spell of balling, uh, which had pace and bounce, and the pitch also definitely uh, had some assistance as well at uh, Hyderabad. And Ankit Rajput did a great job. So I'll be talking about that, and then we have a look at some cricket news, where some very interesting cricket news is coming. Interesting uh, uh, decision has been taken by the ICC to encourage cricket as a whole, and they have decided to give T20 status. to all the cricket matches all the t20 cricket matches played not only by the full members also by the associate members um, as you know the associate members are ireland but there are 92 associate members and icc are on the verge of actually getting the cricket uh, getting more and more popular they want more and more countries to join the cricket and that's the reason and that's a big decision according to me that icc a landmark decision one could say so <clears throat> that is something and also the champions trophy uh, will no longer be played but there is good news for cricket fans the the world t20 uh, the world t20 cr- the cricket t20 world cup is now is now going to be played with more greater frequency probably every year you will have a t20 cricket world cup and that is going to be very very exciting i think it's going to be competition a uh, healthy competition right uh, every year and it should be very exciting and as you know t20 are something that icc has realized that they are the ones which bring in the uh, revenue to the uh, cricket boards respective cricket boards and uh, they are they are laying more and more emphasis on that so i'll be generally uh, you know i probably i don't know whether i'll have time but uh, you know if it's subject to time i will definitely dwell on it but let's first look at this game sunrisers hyderabad with the kings eleven punjab uh, played in hyderabad uh, the toss was actually uh, won by uh, kings eleven punjab and ravi chandran ashwin uh, decided to uh, uh, invited uh, sunrisers hyderabad to bat first well what a spell of bowling ankit rajput was simply sensational i mean the way he bowled it's a, such a strong lineup as you know he actually uh, today Sh- uh, shikhar dhawan opened with kane williamson and he priced out both the batsmen he bounced them out um, uh, you know shikhar dhawan as i said the pitch there was definitely some assistance to the pitch but also we need to uh, hit on the right areas and ankit rajput was generating very good pace and he was generating um, uh, an extreme bounce as well uh, which really had even shikhar dhawan and kane williamson two very very good players uh, gone for 11 and not respectively williamson was out for not after that he picked up the wicket of ridhiman saha who came in one drop caught tie ball rajput he was gone for six of nine balls dhawan made one of eight balls with two fours and then um, after so so he had already broken the back uh, by sending three uh, three batsmen three sunrise side about batsmen to the pavilion with a score reading 27 for 3 in the 5th over and then a partnership started manish pande and shakib alhasan combined very well to slowly uh, starting repairing the damage 
is they did it um, very well I thought uh, by occupying almost like um, I think it was uh, nine overs uh, that they occupied more than nine overs that they occupied uh, and uh, they started adding the runs and uh, basically they added a 50 partnership a 52 run partnership and uh, well and still there was no no one was actually getting the wicket but uh, Mujibur Rahman uh, actually the right arm off he uh, picked up the wicket when uh, he picked up the wicket of uh, Shakib al Hassan for 28 of front hand balls three fours Manish Pandey uh, was doing a very good job at the other end as Yusuf Patan walked then but once again Rankit Rajput once again came back into business he, br he was brought back for his second spell and he definitely obliged his captain uh, by picking up that very big wicket of Manish Pandey by clean bowling him for 54 of 51 balls, 3 fours and 1 six uh, at the end. And Mohamed Nabi was the fifth victim for Ankit Rajput as Mohamed Nabi playing uh, a shot which was in the air, caught a ball bowled Rajput for 4 of 2 balls. And Yusuf Patan remained not out on 21 of 19, there was 1 4 and 1 6. And Sunrisers Hyderabad uh, were kept to 132 for 6 by an excellent spell of pace and uh, pace bowling from Ankit Rajput. Four overs, no maidens, 14 runs and 5 wickets. As I said, even though Ankit Rajput finished on the losing side, but he would be really proud of this performance. As I said, taking 5 wickets in T20 cricket is something absolutely great and he did that take a bow Ankit Rajput and I was very happy to see that Ankit Rajput was uh, given the man of the match award but in the Shran three overs for 27 could not take advantage of the good pitch the spinners did not have it on their own today Ravichan Rajput's four overs went for 34 uh, Manoj Tiwadi one over for 10 runs Mujibur Rahman did a wonderful job four overs one for 17 and Thai four overs no maiden none for 28 now Kings and Punjab were chasing the target of 133 runs to win and uh, it was not, I mean, with, uh, considering that Rahul and Chris Gale uh, were in some tremendous form and uh, they definitely uh, continued that form and uh, uh, and the way KL Rahul uh, and um, Gale, was go Gale were going, uh, one knew for a fact, uh, one probably thought that, you know, it was only a matter of uh, time when Kings and Punjab were going to win. But see how things really drastically changed. KL Rahul and Gale uh, were doing a good job uh, and um, you know the they are taking the score to 55 uh, in 7 points or so almost in 8 overs uh, they had actually taken the score uh, and they were much uh, uh, above the asking rate. Uh, run rate needed was 6.6 but they were going at a clip of even 7 runs uh, but then that was the time um, uh, uh, the, the problem started so that was the only good thing that happened uh, that um, KL Rahul and Gale had given a very good start to them it was just a matter of just going through the paces and winning the match but I thought Kingsula and Punjab uh, really really found it very very tough so it all started uh, with um, Rahul being the first victim uh, as Rashid Khan uh, clean bowled him with a googly. He was gone for 32 of 26 balls, 4 fours and 1 6. Uh, Gail contributed 23 of 22 balls, 1 4 and 2 sixes before Basil Thumpy, playing in place of Billy Stanley, who was injured, uh, picked him up by uh, getting him caught and bowled. That was a big wicket. Uh, and so these are the only two persons, then like Kale Rahul and Gail were the only um, uh, figures who could uh, one could really look into as far as the Kingsland Punjab innings was concerned. Um, and after that, it was a real procession. Uh, the spinners got into the act, Sandeep Sharma got into the act, and things were really, really going peer shape for the Kings Eleven Punjab. As Mayank Agarwal's wicket was taken by Shakib Lassan for 12 of 15 balls, Karun Nair fell for 13, LBW bowled Rashid Khan, Rashid Khan once again bowling excellently. Uh, Shakib Lassan also did a wonderful job at one end. Uh, he picked up the wicket of Arun Finch for 8. Uh, and then Manoj Tiwari was out for one. Ashwin um, departed for four to the bowling of Rashid Khan. And Sandeep Sharma was also very good when he came back for his second spell. Uh, he picked up the wicket of Andy Tai. And then Barinder Shan got himself run out. And then the, the and then we saw Ankit Raj put the hero with the ball uh, in the center with Mujibur Rahman. Now, Mujibur Rahman was uh, giving uh, um, the Sunrisers Hyderabad some hope uh, by hitting... 
Um, I think it, he hit uh, uh, 10 of five balls. But uh, finally, uh, it all came down to the wire with 15 runs, 16 runs required of the final over with Ankit Rajput and Mujibur Rahman, the number 10 and 11 batsmen to crease. It was always going to be difficult uh, and Basil Thumpy uh, did not waste much time. Uh, the second ball of the uh, final over, uh, it was definitely one new one could put the money on uh, Sunrise Hyderabad to win the match and Basil Thumpy definitely did that uh, by hitting the timber of Rajput, sought for eight nine balls. Mujibur Rahman not out on 10, 119 all out and the Sunrise in Hyderabad were absolutely ecstatic as they won the match in front of the home crowd by 13 runs. What an exciting uh, low scoring affair that was. Look at that balling. I mean, uh, to defend such a total, you also uh, require uh, that your bowlers really fire from all ends. And that's what precisely happened. Sandeep Sharma, 4 was no man, 2 for 17. Very impressive balling figures. Mohamed Nabi uh, was the only one uh, who got a bit of tap from the batsman. Two overs for slam for 24. Siddharth Kaul, 4 was none for 25. Basil Thumpy, even though he bowled, he leaked runs, but he picked up two important wickets. Two for 14, and the big wicket of Chris Gale uh, was, a, was a big plus for Basil Thumpy. Rashid Khan, um, um, uh, really bowling superbly. Four was no made in three for 19. Shakib Lassen did a good job. Three was two for 18. And the man of the match, as I said, even though Ankit Rajput, the young pace bowler, finished on the losing side, he was named man of the match. And uh, there could not be better joy uh, for Ankit Rajput than that, even though his team lost. Well, um, so that is as far as uh, that is concerned. So now I have some little time to just uh, dwell uh, on what is happening. As I said, the Champions Trophy, uh, which was uh, the Champions Trophy, as you would remember, Pakistan were the ones who, um, you know, beat India and won the Champions Trophy, as you would all know. So the Champions Trophy uh, is no longer there. It's all over as far as the Champions Trophy is concerned. Uh, the World uh, uh, T20 is going to be replaced by, World T20 is going to be replacing the Champions Trophy. So uh, it basically, uh, it, what it basically says uh, is that uh, we are going to have the frequency of World T20 increasing and there is more and more uh, good news uh, for the as far as World T20s are concerned. Uh, not only is the T20 World Cup going to be played with greater frequency, you're going to probably see uh, a T20 World Cup every year in some country and uh, that is going to be accelerating stuff accordingly. As I said, it's T20 which brings in the money nowadays and, uh, and also let's talk about what ICC have done. ICC have gone for a grand step now and that really, this, uh, this has really come out of the blue. ICC has decided to give T20 status to all the members who play 2020 cricket. So what this essentially means uh, is that the associate nations, as we know, uh, these are the associate nations, Netherlands, Hong Kong, Papua New Guinea. Now we all know that, but there are 92 associate members and those 92 associate members uh, will are encouraged. I mean, they have been given the T20 status. So basically they have official T20 status like all the other, um, all the other full-time uh, members like India, Pakistan, Australia, England, West Indies, New Zealand, Sri Lanka, New, uh, all those teams. So that is a sort of a big boost to T20 cricket. And as I said, the world T20 is going to become a sort of a regular occurrence now every year. And that is another boost and this is a big boost and this is basically what ICC wants is that they want more and more countries to join the fray. They want to make T20 as popular as possible and, and also uh, there is one big, uh, big thing which is involved and that is the moolah. And why I say that? Uh, even Italy have a T20 status, Peru has t T20 status, you can imagine this now. Now, this is what is going to happen. And also, ICC has confirmed, um, uh, you know, the test and ODI leagues. They were talking, always talking about the league system, like happens in soccer, and they're going to, that is also going to be implemented. And I think this is a big boost to T20 cricket, and ICC have definitely done it because they know now the future uh, in cricket is going to be T20. Already there are a lot of talks going in the ECB, uh, that uh, they were, the other day they were all talking about 100 ball cricket and the 100 ball cricket was very well supported by a lot of cricket players who have come forward and said that's a uh, that's a very good experiment that they need to do 
so definitely ICC would be eyeing that and now I think um, ICC are, have taken the right step here in the right direction because they know going forward T20 is the one which is going to be the flagship of cricket not only because it, it provides great excitement and entertainment it's also because uh, it is bringing in the money to the respective boards because nowadays what the spectators or what the public needs is wholesome entertainment and also they want the matches to get over very quickly and three hours and that is something they have experimented as you know the t20 leagues each and every country is now having the t20 leagues even afghanistan are going to have the t20 league uh, which is going to be played for the first time in the united arab emirates so that really uh, and i think as i said it's a step in the right direction and icc kudos to you and now they are encouraging cricket in a big manner and t20 cricket uh, is something which is the only one which could give uh, bring the money because now now because of the t20 cricket uh, we see that even uh, people are not even having the patience to see a one day international which goes up to 100 overs and they want some they want entertainment uh, they want excitement and they also want uh, uh, something uh, which is very short so that like like uh, like any of the other football any other games like take football hockey or whatever and that sort of sense so i think icc have done a great job here and kudos to them well dear fans and subscribers tomorrow the match that is coming up is delhi daredevils uh, are taking on uh, the kolkata knight riders and that should be a wonderful game which is coming up i'll be and also just on a brief note toby roland jones uh, is going to be miss out the English season with an injury which is very sad he has been going through a lot of injury problems and that is not good news uh, to, to his respective county well dear fans subscribers on this note it's about time for me to bid you all a very good night thank you